An interesting development on Thursday here in Dunedin. The Blue Jays' Rule 5 selection, Glenn Sparkman, fractures his thumb on his throwing hand. It's bad news for him. Is it good news, Ben, for the team? Well, you do wonder if there is a potential for a silver lining there, Jamie, because with Sparkman, now he's going to have to wait for that thumb to heal, first of all, increases the likelihood that he's going to start the season on the disabled list. And after that point, there could be a rehab stint involved as he tries to get back to full strength. The long story short, this could buy him a little bit of extra time to evaluate Sparkman, someone who, until a couple weeks ago, they were completely unfamiliar with. Mike, two hitters caught your attention. One of them's a franchise icon. The other has yet to play a game in the major leagues. Yeah, and they both had very good days in the tie against the Phillies. Jose Bautista, who I'm assuming you're mentioning as the franchise icon, yes. he just destroyed two baseballs. He had a single off the top of the left field wall. He hit the ball so hard that he had to stop at first base. And then he absolutely hammered a ball just to the left of the batter's eye for a three-run homer. Big day for Jose Bautista, who's having a great spring, which is bad news for Canada because they have to play the Dominican Republic in the World Baseball Classic. Rowdy Telez is a guy everybody's been talking about all spring long, and he did it again. Game-tying single, two out in the bottom of the ninth inning, driving in the tying run from third on a count that started 0-2. He has just looked so good. He certainly has. The Blue Jays welcome the New York Yankees on Friday. Francisco Liriano will get the start for the home team.